good evening guys good evening guys like i promised you earlier i'll be doing an educational content about pi what pi i will not waste your time of telling what pi is all about you can search on the internet and read all that i'll just guide you on how you can mine how you can know if your kyc is set up if your pi has been migrated if your pi is tradable that is what I'll be doing in the course of this short video. Okay, without wasting most of your time, let's dive in. Okay, now, in Pi, I told you all, for people that have been on my DM recently, we have two apps that support Pi currently, which is the Pi app and the Pi browser. You're going to need both of them. Now, first of all, if you are to mine, most time when your session expires, your mining session expires, you'll be directed to open the Pi app. So you open the Pi app. When you open the Pi, I will see something like this. Tap here to mine Pi. So what you just have to do is to or to tap. By the time I tap here, I don't know any network is disturbing me right now. Okay. Okay. Just a sec, a sec. I'm going to take it up again. So open the pi app just wait for a brief moment for the pi app to load so welcome to pi you see something like this welcome to pi and you just wait a moment for the pi app to load okay yeah we up we up okay now immediately you open your pi app if your mining session have expired every pi mining session lasts for 24 hours so mine has expired that's why you are seeing this so i have to tap to mine more so what do i have to do i'll just click on tap here so immediately i click on tap here you click on the button mine so that is the only thing you have to do and Everyone you can is see investing and yeah I you need to click on mining you see advert from that. pi I'm a but that notwithstanding, you can exit it or you can trading. wait for it to play out. So I started on a demo account without real money. But what I want to let you know is that you have begun mining your pipe. Now, immediately you have done that, you are done, you can close the app. Now, most of the things you have to do on your pipe can be done on your pipe browser. So open your, launch your pipe browser. So wait for it to load for a moment. Now, this is the interface of the pipe browser. This is how it looks like. So when you open the Pi browser, wait for it to load. Now please pay rapt attention here because this is where you'll be doing most of the thing regards to Pi. This is where you'll be doing most of the thing regards to Pi. So I'm going to guide you. Please pay rapt attention on this. Okay, so my Pi browser has load. So what do I have to do? If I want to my Pi, note. If your mining session have expired, you will not be able to mine from here, mine.py. You'll be referred to mine from the Pi original app. But just click on your mine, Pi. So you see, so far you have initiated mining from the app. It will continue mining here. So you can see, and it's still the same number. Now let's go back first. I want to show you something. Okay, fine. Let's stay here before we go further. Now, immediately you click here. I don't know. Look at these three horizontal lines at the left top click on it to bring out more option from here we have home minutes pi utilities my pie referral team rules yeah you can go through all that to see what referral team is people you invited to pie to my pie so you see them under your referral team my pie just like to initiate mining of pie yeah but what i'll be focusing on now is the main net so you click on your main net now in this domain net, you can see you have unverified, transferable, and migrated. Now unverified, uh, you can read it here too, but I'll just briefly explain it. You can read here unverified balance and all that. But unverified is pie that is mined, you and your team, people you invited, people that are in your security cycle. Now they won't be able to transfer this because if those in your team or those under you has not migrated their pie that is why have not done their kyc sorry that is why you are seeing something like this because they've not verified so if they verify this 390 
pi that you are seeing will be able to be transferred to either my transferable or migrated. Now, transferable is amount of pi that you have mined recently that can be transferred to your wallet. Migrated is the amount of pi that have been moved to your wallet. Okay, now this is my emphasis. Uh, I think I will concentrate on these two things. Main list, um, main net checklist and configure lockup. Now, immediately click on main list, uh, main net checklist. Now, you see, first of all, when you download the pipe browser, this stage will be completed. You have eight steps for your KYC. Now, pay rapt attention because I'm talking about the KYC now. Now, you create a pipe wallet. So, immediately click on here. Create a, it will generate automatically your Pi Wallet. Now you confirm your Pi Wallet. I will show you where you confirm your Pi Wallet later. You confirm your Pi Wallet. Now commit to lock up. I'm going to come back to this by the time I'm, I'm talking about the next stage. Because this is where most people is hooked now. That is causing a lot of challenges for them. Now submit your KYC. Please. When you are registering for Pi, make sure that your details from the beginning are accurate. So that if you are submitting maybe your digital NIN, the document you are submitting, it will correspond so that your verification process will be seamless. So please take note of that. Take note of that. Take note of that. Now you wait for your KYC to, to be completed. Yeah, if you enter the right thing. Luckily for you, sometimes it might take some process, but if all your details are correct and accurate, definitely your KYC is going to be approved. So after then, you sign acknowledgement. This happens automatically. Congratulations, you have been added to automatic migration. So you'll be on the queue. Now this last eight is automatic. So you don't have this number eight. You have nothing to do with it. This is Pi will automatically, Pi blockchain will automatically migrate your Pi to your wallet. That is to the main net. Okay, now you click on this arrow to come back. Now you click on configure. This is, please, this is where people are getting it fucked up. Now immediately click on configure lockup settings. Of course, you have to. You have to configure it because if you don't configure, it's part of the criteria for you to for you to complete your KYC. Now, if you click it, now most of us we want to go and say two hundred percent and lock up to three years. Immediately you do something like this. Know that when your Pi is migrated, you have to wait for three good years to be able to make use of your pie or to trade it yeah it will be moved to your wallet fine but you cannot be able to trade it why because it is locked up the advantage of your pie being locked up is it will increase your mining rate that is the advantage but if you are willing to wait for one year two weeks six months one year three years fine you can lock up your pie and also the percentage of pi you want to lock up is it 50% of your total mine pi 90% 100% 200% of your total mine pi you want to lock up you select it but if it want it don't want to in short you must lock up but uh, lock up pi but in some case you don't want your mine pi to to be locked for years just on check the automatic lock up but increase your commitment so automatically when your pie is migrated it will move to the available now we'll click on this pie icon here to come back to our main pie interface now this is where your wallet is your wallet address so for those of us that want to do kyc so you just click kyc.py so immediately click on your kyc so you'll be able to Check your KYC. Now, note it that here is just to verify that your KYC has approved because all those steps there is that I listed, which is one to eight, is the KYC. This place is just to check if your KYC has been validated. So it might not be as important as it is. Now, wallet.py. Wallet.py. Now, this is where you do some transaction, transfer, and everything with your Pi. Now, here, Immediately you commit your wallet address, you will be referred back. 
to your Pi app. Now, when you are referred back to your Pi app, you create a wallet. Now, in the wallet to be, if let you click on create wallet, you'll be shown 24 passphrase. Please and please, I've had a lot of complaints on this particular aspect. Copy the 24 word out. Copy the 24 word out. After you have copied the 24 word out, you can screenshot it and save it in your cloud, in your email, anywhere that you know that you can assess it because any transaction you are making with Pi and you don't have that 24. I have a friend that have Pi almost close to a thousand plus, but because he has misplaced his Pi passphrase, that Pi is gone and is gone, can never be recovered. So that is how important this is. Now, if I enter my 24 passphrase i'll be able to access my wallet now i will just post a picture i will explain after the video i'll post a picture of how it looks like now in the immediately you create or you open your pi wallet you see there's you see different things we have the pi testnet and we have the pi testnet is a dummy pi those are not tradable nobody is doing anything with it it's just for example then we have the pi mainnet that is the original one. Now in the Pi mainnet, we we'll have the one that will be displaying the amount of Pi I have. Then we we'll have the available. It's only the available that can be traded. Only the available that can be traded. So most of the time we we'll have Pi in our wallet, but we can't send it out. It's because it is locked up. It is because it's locked up. So it's only the one that is available on your Pi that can be traded. So I will send the picture of it because I can't log into my Pi phrase now. So I will not be able to show you my wallet to explain that. So thank you for your time. And if you have any further question, my DM is always open. And don't forget, we'll buy pie massively and aggressively. Thank you.